Once again we find ourselves in the doctor's office. At the beginning of the scene we have Nurse Novakova invite the patient's mother Mrs. Morgan, who is holding her six-month-old baby in her arms, into the doctor's office. Both women sit down and Nurse Novakova starts asking the patient questions about her daughter's medical history. Mrs. Morgan, please come in. Hello. Hello, my name is Nurse Novakova. You are here for the six-month exam, am I right? Yes, we came for our regular checkup. Please have a seat. Before you see Dr. Edwards, I just need to ask you a few basic questions about how your baby has been doing in the past month. Of course. Thank you. So tell me how is little Anna moving? Could you please describe her motor skills? Just last week she started crawling. She's pretty fast actually. I have to be very careful and always pay attention to where she is crawling. She sort of pushes herself around on her tummy and of course she rolls over by herself. Wonderful. That is very good. Now how about the food? Are you still nursing? Yes, I am still nursing her, but I also started giving her solids, just as Dr. Edwards recommended. She now eats apples, bananas, carrots, broccoli and potatoes. Very good. Today we will give Anna her shots. So it is important for us to know if she has been ill recently. Has she had cold or diarrhea in past two weeks? No, she has been completely healthy, but I have some doubts about the shots. I don't think I want Anna to be vaccinated. I read online about the possible risks and I just don't think it's worth it. It's not like she can get any of these illnesses anymore. I am very sorry you feel this way. However, all the illnesses we vaccinate against are very serious. For example, the poliovirus can cause acute paralysis, and the meningitis is extremely lethal. It causes very high fevers and can develop into sepsis. Even if the child survives, the disease can cause long-term impairments such as loss of hearing. Unfortunately, as the number of unvaccinated children increases, so do the chances of Anna catching one of these diseases. I didn't know the illnesses could still be contracted. Can you tell me a little bit more about the other vaccines? Absolutely. Measles and German measles cause nasty rashes, but the real issue is the fact that severe complications can be developed, such as pneumonia, encephalitis, blindness or deafness. The hepatitis B vaccine serves to prevent chronic hepatitis, which over time develops into cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. What about the risks I found on the internet, though? I read about anaphylaxis and about autism. There are studies that show there is absolutely no connection between autism and vaccinations. The vaccination process does, of course, carry certain risks. These mostly include a mild fever, a rash or redness, and swelling where the shot was given. More severe complications include pneumonia, high fevers or seizures. Anaphylactic reaction is also a possible complication, but we are well prepared to handle anything. It is important to take this process seriously. However, the benefits are much greater than the risk of developing any of the serious side effects. Thank you for the explanation. I'm still a little worried though. I understand. It is an important medical decision and you have a lot to think about. Are your children vaccinated, Nurse Novakova? Yes, all of my three children got their shots as recommended. They cried a little during the process and one developed a fever afterwards, but that was it. They have been healthy since then and I feel very lucky that we don't have to worry about these illnesses anymore. Just 50 years ago, people still suffered from poliomyelitis and had to live with disabilities for the rest of their lives. Even one of the American presidents, Franklin D. Roosevelt, was left unable to use his legs for the rest of his life after he contracted polio as a child. It is a great success of modern medicine, really. I trust that you and Dr. Edwards are doing all these checkups for Anna's benefit, so I guess we will be getting the shots today after all. Good. 
Now please follow me to Dr. Edward's office and we can start the exam.